guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Haley, and today I have an exciting video plan. I finally got all my Aryan Beauty products that I ordered off launch day, so we're going to be doing a first impression, some swatches, and showing you how I created this look right here, so I can't wait. If you missed my first Aryan Beauty tutorial and first impressions, go check that out first. I will leave the link down below. In that video, I received a few items from Aryan Beauty um, gifted in PR, and so I actually got to try everything out on launch day, which was amazing. But today is actually just all the stuff that I ordered myself, and I have been waiting to review everything and kind of like dive in. So I can't wait. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Alrighty guys, we are back with an Aryan Beauty tutorial and also like another first impressions. I did do a first impressions of products in my last video and I will not be touching on any of the products that I used in that video today. So. If you missed that video, go back, go watch it. I will link it down below for you guys. Today, I'm just gonna be showing all of the products that I ordered, gonna give you guys some swatches, some first impressions, and then, of course, a tutorial portion as well. So if you're not interested in like the haul portion and like swatches and all that jazz, I will leave some timestamps down below so you guys can just skip on over to the tutorial and we can just kind of jump right into everything. Before I get started showing you guys everything, I just want to share that I ordered everything on launch day, which was November 12th. And I made two separate orders because I did end up going back and snagging a few things just so I could try them out on camera for you guys. The first order arrived December 7th. The second one arrived December 9th. And then one of the products that I ordered shipped separately. My lip gloss shipped in a totally different package. I'm not really sure why, but that arrived December 10th. So they did give everybody a warning like on launch day that it would take like 10 to 14 days processing times, business days by the way, before everything shipped out. So I did know that it was going to take a while with shipping, especially because it was launch day and this was a very highly anticipated launch. I'm sure there was so many orders, I can't even imagine. So it did take a while, which was of course a bummer. I was like anxiously waiting because I was just so excited, but I totally understand. So let me share all of the products that I ordered. Starting off with the palette, I got the Midnight Snack Palette. I thought that these colors were a little bit fun and interesting and we could do kind of like a cool little look with this. Here is a close up of those, super stunning. Do you wanna do some swatches of these shadows so this is oh that's very pretty this is like the black shade it has like a little bit of shimmer to it nice burgundy shade this one's like nice and matte this one i'm most excited for it's like kind of like a bluish purple i don't know depending on the light it looks a little bit more blue but this is very pretty it's very shimmery it went on pretty smooth another matte shade this one looks like a taupe color gonna be like a really nice crease tone and then we have this silver shade to try to put it over here oh whoa that is gorgeous last shade I have this might be hard because it looks like it's gonna be like the same color as my skin tone so we'll see if it shows up yeah you can't really tell very much it kind of definitely blends into my skin this will be a nice one to just kind of like wash over the lid just to have like a base down before you start blending out all these shadows so I will definitely use that one today still. This one, this like little taupey shade, I think that's going to be a favorite of mine and I can't wait to dive into the silver. So I'm really excited to play around with everything. I've been really loving the baby doll palette from my first video. It has like a really nice arrangement of like neutral everyday tones. So it's great for everyday looks and I've been really enjoying the formula. So can't wait to test this one out. Did also get some lashes. So in the last video I used the internally meowing lashes they were a little bit more natural looking so i did get the more like voluminous style style is called grow and show and that's how those look look like slightly more dramatic than the other pair so i'm interested to see how these look on i did not think that i was going to like the lashes in the last video but they ended up being really flattering and pretty I'm definitely excited to see these. Also in the last video, I tried out the volumizing mascara. So today I wanted to try out the lengthening one and see how this one is, which one I prefer. Here's how the wand looks here. 
It is like a little bit more tapered off. It gets nice and skinny at the bottom so you can kind of like get into the small corners of your eyes. I ordered two highlighters. I had originally only ordered one, which was this fun purple one, just cause it's like very unique and just cool. I think that this will look really, really good with the palette that we're using today. So here is what that looks like up close and personal. After trying Miss Mercury from my last video, I just fell in love with the formula. This has been my everyday highlighter since that video. So I did also order Miss Saturn. This one is a little bit darker, so I'm not sure how it's going to look on my skin tone, but we are going to test her out. First of all, I'm dying at how ridiculously pale my hand looks compared to my face right now always gets so crazy pale it's ridiculous um a little bit shocking but whatever so here's how that looks definitely too dark for like <laughs> the paleness on my hand um so it depends i don't know it might work out on my tan face We'll see. Next up, Miss Neptune. I'm so excited about this one. It kind of has like a little bit of a blue shift to it as well. So, okay, that is very, very pretty. I'm so excited. I also ordered three shades of the liquid eyeshadows. And a few years ago when these first started to become popular, especially like the Stila liquid shadows, I was absolutely obsessed. I was wearing them every day. So I was very excited about these. I haven't really gravitated towards liquid eyeshadows in a few years now. So I'm excited to see how this formula is. I'm going to start off swatching this one, which is in the shade Lab Coat. It's kind of like a little triangular shape. Oh wow, that's really pretty. It kind of has like a pink shift to it. When the light is not hitting it, it looks a little bit more sheer. And then as soon as the light hits it, it is like so pink and reflective. Again, I'll give you guys a little bit of a better close up so you can truly see what's going on here. Shade is Fimbot. I will say I'm not sure how I feel about the wand. We'll have to see how it applies once I put it on my eye. But it's not like it didn't really pick up a ton of product in here. So I feel like you kind of have to pump it to pick up some pigment whoa okay this one is so cool it is not at all what i was expecting it has a blue flip to it which is gorgeous but not what i anticipated like looking at the bottle again these are so weird because when they're not hitting the light they just it doesn't really look like you have anything and then boom there it is you see what i'm saying last shade comet this one looks really pretty like a goldy champagne tone oh yeah that's gorgeous like bronzed goddessy vibes this one is not quite as sheer so it doesn't need like light to be reflecting off it to show its true color which i really like i think that these two will probably be better off as toppers this one you can definitely like use on its own not that you can't use the other two on their own but they will probably look better as toppers there is a better look they're really hard to capture what they truly look like on video because the light has to hit it just right but they're very cool next up we have lip products so i'll start off with these i actually was not planning on ordering the lip stain but i did end up getting it just for the video and i will say this is the only product like the new products that i ordered that i have tried out so far. i do actually have some initial thoughts on this here's how the tip looks on that i ordered it in the shade popular which was kind of like the lightest shade they have it has more of like a pinky tone to it i will say like it feels like when you're applying it it feels like a sharpie <laughs> pen the tip is very interesting and honestly i do kind of hope that they end up swapping this out as they continue to you know tweak their products a little bit because i didn't love this to be honest the color is cute i'll show you guys i'm just kind of applying it towards the center of my lips to kind of give you like that popsicle lip look the color is really cute and pretty you can of course like go all over your lips and the tip is good for that like you can go over your cupid's bow and like be a little bit more precise but I don't love 
like the applicator of this feels like a little bit harder to get the product applied moving on to the lip gloss i did only order one shade this is vcr and i will just say i was kind of shocked opening it i was like wait is this a sample size it is so teeny tiny it is like the miniest little lip gloss i've ever seen i just was not expecting it to be so small remove this lip stain another thing um the lip stain does not actually leave a stain on your lips which is kind of you know the whole point it's not very long lasting either which i would have really liked to see in a lip stain so i do kind of hope that they kind of take this formula and the applicator and tweak it a bit because it could be really good but it's just it's not quite there kind of missed the mark for me so going into the lip gloss as just like a squeeze tube sort of applicator this color is really really pretty yeah i am really digging this color i think that it's very pretty very flattering the gloss is really cute it kind of has like a minty vibe to it a little bit of tingle which i like this is a plumping lip gloss but the tingling on it is very minimal so i don't think that the plumping effect is going to be like super over the top lip glosses already give like a subtle sort of plumping effect already so if you're looking for something like very <laughs> dramatic you probably won't find it in this product same thing with this plumping gloss that i talked about in the last video i do really really love this and i love the smell of it but it really doesn't give much of a plumping effect it's very minimal the shade is truly gorgeous though like i can see this easily becoming like an everyday product for me it's very pretty so moving on to the i think these are the last items that i ordered the lipsticks and these i was so stoked for they're kind of cool i don't know they're not super magnetic but they are magnetic they stick to each other <laughs> i think the magnet is just to always make sure the space helmet is like facing the front it's really cool i'll try to make it face the side here and it just goes back i don't know kind of cool so the shades that i got are drive-in movie and bubbly i just i really do like the packaging i think that it's very fun and unique i know people were saying like the space theme is a little gimmicky but i just feel like it's so ariana and just like something we haven't really seen in the beauty space before so i thought it was very cool i wish that she came out with lip liners in the first launch i am sure they are coming maybe chapter two but it would have been really nice to have a matching lip liner right now here's a close-up of the lipstick it looks very matte kind of like a powdery finish like they look like they're going to be very velvety soft it does have the REM Beauty stamp into it, which is a nice touch. But this is shade Bubbly. Oh, wow. It goes on very smooth. Nice and pigmented. It's so soft. Wow. This color is also a very, very pretty, a nice, like, everyday sort of tone. I can't get over, like, how smooth the formula is on this. It's a very, very soft formula. Going in with drive-in movie this one is a little bit darker so soft okay it's a little sloppy like i said i really kind of need a lip liner but this color is very pretty like for the holidays this is not a color that i normally gravitate to it's a little bit darker kind of has like a berry undertone to it but it is pretty and same thing the formula is really really great on these they go on very smooth super soft very pigmented i really like how these feel that is everything that i ordered now we can finally jump into the fun part i zoomed you guys in so we can get up close and personal with the palettes the only issue that i'm seeing like right off the bat is we have a lot of shimmer shades and i personally just like to have a little bit more matte shades in my look so i probably will not be applying every single shade in this palette i will do my darndest to get as many as we can in here so i am first taking a little bit of the skin tone color it is a little powdery we have some fallout but i'm going to just kind of wash this all over my eyelid and lay it down as a base shade i'm just gonna clip my bangs back for this because they get in the way <laughs> Now that we have that base down, I'm going to go in with this nice little taupey tone. And 
I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and kind of running this over my crease. And now I am focusing a little bit more on like the outer corner of my eye and just kind of taking the excess over my crease. Actually a little bit higher than my crease. I like to apply my makeup like that so it looks like my eyes are a little bit bigger than they actually are. And same thing with the other eye. I'm going to take like this little burgundy shade at the end and kind of add this onto the outer corner over here. Bring you guys in a little bit closer. So same thing, just building this up. Whatever's like left over on my brush, I kind of like to wing out a little bit, extend my eye. You see what I'm saying here? Kind of creating like a winged shape. So once I add like my winged liner, I'll just kind of like follow that line. I'm going to take that first fluffy brush from the beginning and without adding any additional product, I'm just going to kind of like blend everything out a little bit so it looks a little bit more seamless. I'm really conflicted on what shades I want to use. I think we kind of need to use the statement shade here. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking, fuck it. This is honestly, this is just how I would wear this palette. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put the silver on my lid. I know that that is not super exciting. Oh my gosh. I love silver for the holidays. I love this. This is just like straight up from the palette. I didn't add anything to my brush. Normally with shimmer shades, I do like to kind of spritz my brush so it comes off a little bit more intense. But we of course, we had to see how it looks without that. I am impressed. I think that it's very, very pretty. And just for comparison's sake, I'm going to take the MAC Fix Plus and I'm gonna spritz a little bit on the brush so we can see the difference. Nice little spritz here. Let's see. You know, it's actually not that much different. I feel like maybe this one looks like a little bit more lighter. Hmm, I don't know, they're both very pretty. And just because I do want to kind of try out every shade, I am gonna take the last shade, like this black shimmer shade. I'm just gonna kind of add it over here, kind of right smack dab in between that silver and that burgundy. This brush is ass. New brush, All right, kind of a party. Now, wait a minute, that is, that is kind of cute, kind of a moment. Obviously, we need to blend a little. This is like a statement holiday eye. Oh, freaking stunning. This is hard, because this one has like a little bit more of a blue reflect in here that could be really flattering, but this one, I think I'm gonna do this one. I don't know if I want to apply it right with the applicator, or, Maybe a brush. I'm coating my brush in it. And I'm just gonna kind of tap it in the center. We'll see how that works. I don't love that. Let me try to use the applicator. I don't know if you guys can see the pink there. I'm trying to blend it without lifting the eyeshadow underneath. I mean, I thought it would look good as a topper since it appeared so sheer in that swatch but it just kind of ended up lifting my eyeshadow off which i don't like I'm going to fix my eyeshadow really fast i did not like that i didn't like that it was like lifting the other shadow i think that i will try to put it as my inner corner before we do that i'm gonna go in with this little blue shade and i'm gonna put this in my waterline also i'm gonna throw this little color pop eyeliner into my waterline just to make that blue pop a little bit more. With Fimba, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of this on a brush, my inner corner, and just kind of carry that over to kind of like the center of my eye. And moving on to the liner, I'm just going to create a wing. In my first impressions video, I said that I really like the eyeliner and I am still Loving it. I feel like it's very easy to maneuver and get a nice wing wing. Now for lashes, I want to show you what the volumizing mascara wand looks like versus the lengthening. So volumizing is the top, it's the chunkster, and then lengthening is the bottom, a little bit skinnier. I used the volumizing one in my last video, so go check that out if you want to see how that one applies. Today we're going to use the lengthening. Alright, so here is one coat of mascara. It is definitely a little bit lengthening. I think that 
another layer maybe two would look really good because i kind of like when my bottom lashes get like a little bit not clumped together but a little bit I ended up doing two more layers of the mascara to kind of build it up and i really like how they look i do kind of like my lashes clumped together so i kind of like wiggle the brush a little bit so that you know they would look a little bit thicker than they are but i will say if you do already have nice lashes the lengthening mascara the wand makes it so easy to kind of keep all the lashes like nice and separated so just personal preference there but let's get into these lashes i'm so excited to try these out today's look is a little bit more intense and dramatic so i'm hoping that this style will kind of help balance that out a little here we go these are not as like dramatic as i was expecting but i do think they are pretty i probably wouldn't pair them with a look like this just because this look is just so <laughs> in your face would want like a lash that is maybe a little bit thicker and maybe has a little bit more wispiness on the outer corner but i do think this lash is very pretty i might add a little bit more mascara to thicken it up this lash would be really pretty with just like my everyday makeup because it has a little bit of flex is a little bit longer which i really like um but it's not too much super pretty but i am taking the i'm actually taking the volumizing mascara um and i'm just gonna first of all blend my actual lashes and the false eyelashes together but also kind of bring it up a little bit and try to make these a little bit thicker just to kind of match up with the look a little bit better yeah that's cute okay, moving on to highlighters so this is miss neptune just taking a little highlight brush i'm not sure how it's going to look on my cheeks so i didn't take too much product but here we go okay so cute okay this is so pretty because it has like a very subtle lilac tint it's not overpowering and i like that when i'm looking at you it doesn't just look like a block of purple on my face which sometimes you get with colored highlighters okay yeah i am a big fan of this let's try out miss saturn i'm going to take a little bit on my finger just put it right on my nose that's pretty i'll blend it out i promise and then right down the center. Okay, that worked out really nice. I thought that maybe it would be a little bit too dark, but once it's applied, it doesn't look too... Yeah, it looks really good. So I'm also gonna take just a little bit of this on my temples as well. I gotta say, you guys, these highlighters are my favorite. I really love the formula of these. I'm gonna take Miss Mercury and put this right in the inner corner of my eye and my brow bone too so we got all of the highlighters on my face <laughs> and we're gonna finish off this look with some lips i'm gonna go in with this m cosmetics lip liner in mink ariana we're gonna need some lip liners i'm going in with the lipstick shade bubbly i really like this one and then i'm gonna top it off with the vcr gloss wraps up today's look you guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments down below but i have to say i really like how it turned out i think that it's very pretty this palette turned out to be very festive and fun the highlighter is so cute i really appreciate that it's not just like this stark purple line on my face like it just it's so pretty it's just like a nice little touch this lip combo is gorgeous i just ah I love how everything turned out and I know people were skeptical about Ariane Beauty especially when the first images dropped but I have to say overall I've been really impressed with the products. I think that the packaging is actually really nice. It looks so much better in person than it does like on their Instagram page. The quality is really great. I love eyeshadows. The highlighters are a favorite of mine. The only thing that I did not love that I tried out so far 
is the lipstick. I'm honestly pretty indifferent about the mascaras. They're not bad products by any means. They're just not anything super special. They're not my favorite mascaras. But I love the lip products. I like the eyeliner. The lashes have been very impressive because judging by the photos online, I did not think that I would love them as much as I do, but they are very pretty. They have that nice slim band, so they're not like, I don't know, they're just really easy to apply. Overall, I'm just really impressed with the brand and so excited to see what the future of Aryan Beauty is. I can't wait for chapter two. Fingers crossed that we get some lip liners, maybe some brow products. But definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!